Does, can you clarify whether the United States has an agreement with the Taliban to allow more Americans and other Afghans to leave the country? Well, I will say, Jeff, that it is our not just our expectation, but also the expectation of 100 countries around the world, the UN Security Council and others, that the Taliban will abide by what they committed to last Friday, which is the ability of people to leave Afghanistan should they choose to leave. The administration keeps saying the commitment to our Afghan allies doesn't end on the 31st, but your spokesman said the airport will not be open on September 1st, and the Taliban obviously can't secure its safety even when U.S. forces are present. So how do you realistically think any American citizens or Afghan partners who are left behind will be able to fly out? What would you say to them on how to get out? Martha, a few things. First, um, just uh, about 24 hours ago, a very senior Taliban uh, leader spoke on television and on the radio throughout Afghanistan and repeatedly assured the Afghan people that they would be free to travel after uh, August 31st. Uh, and he but, but Secretary there... Blinken, they do not trust. Oh. I, I mean, I know you say you don't trust the Taliban, but now you're telling me we should trust what the Taliban I'm said. Not... But I would note that uh, the Taliban conveyed that on Friday, a leader of the Taliban. Uh, again, more than half of the countries in the world have conveyed clearly what they expect. And the U.N. Security Council signed a resolution yesterday. So those are the diplomatic pieces that have moved forward. But this will be a top priority in the days ahead. In the remote host province, the Taliban held another victory rally, parading mock NATO coffins. A speaker praised the ISIS suicide bomber who killed 13 U.S. service members and 200 Afghans, saying the Taliban have now established the Islamic State the suicide bomber yearned for. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, Martha. I'm not saying we should trust the Taliban on, uh, on anything. I'm simply reporting what one of their senior leaders said uh, to the Afghan people. He specifically cited as well. Uh, those who worked for Americans and uh, any other Afghan for whatever reason. So that's point one. Oh, okay, point but I, I want to go back to okay. that. You're, you're trying to reassure our Afghan allies. They're not reassured. Those interpreters who aren't getting out, they're not reassured by a statement like that.